I'd like to talk about one of my favorite uh, network analysis tools called Network Miner. Um, it's pretty useful when it comes to uh, doing, you know, malware analysis or, you know, finding out uh, some rogue hosts that are communicating on your network. So let's just kind of dive right in. Um, the first thing I just loaded up a packet capture file here, and the first thing you'll notice is that you see this entire list of hosts. Um, this is pretty much every uh, machine that's been communicating and that's been captured by the packet capture. Um, one nice thing about it as well, or about Network Miner in particular, is that it does have an ability to do some uh, OS fingerprinting. Um, that's built right in, so that's kind of uh, nice. It does use uh, Satori here. So it does do some OS fingerprinting. You can find a little bit more about your host that way. This is probably one of the nicer features of this program is that you can uh, you can also sort all the hosts by sent and received packets, sent and received bytes, you know, operating system as well. Um, I find some of those options pretty useful for doing malware analysis. Um, you can go to the frames. I don't use the frames section that much. If I'm going to you know do a frame by frame analysis, I'm you know sticking with something like Wireshark that I know a little better as well. Um, one really nice thing about Network Miner is that it automatically extracts all these files for you from the packet capture. So, um, and stores them locally as well. So obviously you want to have a pristine machine and you want to make sure that you know none of this stuff is going onto your personal machine if you don't know what traffic is going on on this uh, on this network because obviously there's going to be some some malware in there or if you're in a corporate setting maybe some uh, some personally identifiable information somewhere floating around so um, but it does you know you can go right to all these files you can say hey I want to you know open this file open this folder it'll open in your your uh, web browser obviously for HTML files um, network miner also extracts images in particular and you can display them and sort through them another nice feature about this is that it will pull credentials uh, login credentials for uh, some websites and uh, FTP sites as well. Um, sessions, you know, you can see obviously, you know, the the protocols and uh, you know hosts and clients and ports. Um, it's nice uh, DNS lookups, obviously as well. And one feature I really like in this is the ability to search keywords. So if you think that uh, a certain keyword is, you know going in and out of your network. You know, you can look it up here. For example, I know that uh, from this credential screen that we saw earlier that there was a username of credentials and a password of a password. So why don't we go over to this keywords tab, type in a password. Just going to see if that, obviously we know that that's going on in the network. We do have to reload this packet capture after we want to do some keyword searching, but Fortunately, this is a fairly small PCAP, and there we see our result, anyway, that it was pulled from frame 3987, so you can, you know, go back and do more investigation if you need to. Um, you can see the little, little context of where it found it. So, that's kind of the basic utility of Network Miner, and, um, oh, it also does do uh, passive sniffing as well, uh, if you have... You know, obviously WinPCAP installed. Um, you can use your network adapters and or obviously as in this example you can just use a packet capture. So thanks a lot.